Welcome back to Elden Ring. Let's head down from the four belfries and head south down to the minor Erd tree. The giant spawned when I came up this way. Does, yep, <laughs> it spawns the other way too. Hey, jellies. Ooh, gold-tinged excrement. Oh, a side of grace. Bad mother. There might be something special in there. Oh, you can't do a backstab on him. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Ooh. Yeah, I thought that would happen. God, look at them, they're so cute. I love bats. Let's try to take them out one by one. Time for sleep. Oh, we have another one of these wormy boss rings. Cuckoo's Evergel. Alright. Weak foe ahead. <clears throat> Didn't expect weak foe. Be wary of giant sort. Oh no, not this attack. Oh!
wasn't too bad at all. Great blade phalanx. Ah. Bigger version of the one that I currently have. That should be just a straight up replacement. Now we'll look at the FP cost when I get to a side of grace. Looks like that's the way up to the Erd tree. Is there anything around the side? Oh, side of grace. Revenger's shack. It's a little ominous. Invaded by Edgar the Revenger. Hey! Look, you can't be getting revenge on me because I've never even seen you before. What did I ever do to you? There's all my FP. Oh, fuck. Shabiri grape. Hmm. If I could ever find that person again, I could give them another grape. Banished Knight's Halberd plus eight. Raw meat dumpling. Ew. And another one. And some shit. Take a look at that new spell. So yeah, we have the Glint Blade Phalanx, which uses 20 FP. I'm gonna replace it with the Great Blade Phalanx, which uses 35 FP. Whoops. Yeah, nice and big. That is a lot of FP, though. I think I could cast that maybe four times. Oh. Did I already look at this? The fact that I could take off the cape? Not that I want to. Yeah, let's leave the cape on. Oh! If it hits something, it'll burst. Why is that so amusing? I can't burst this one. Dang. Raw meat dumpling. Ra oh my god. They're all raw meat dumplings. That's weird and gross. Seek here. Why? Turn back. <laughs> oh, someone else got up here. Time for too high up. Ah, oh, yes. 
Still no precious item. Maybe, maybe if we climb higher. I can't climb that. Nah, that's as... Oh my god, that's as high as you can go. I'm amazed I didn't die just there. There's the earth tree. Hole ahead. Underground tomb ahead, but ambush ahead. Okay. Sword dance. Hmm. That sounds like it could be somewhat similar to, like, Wild Strikes. See how powerful these swords are. It's pretty good. Be wary of up. going off the map. Underground tomb ahead. Crazy underground tomb. Is it open? Always worried about doesn't open from this side. Check over here first. No horse ahead. Waves. It's a nice view. Roads and catacombs. There's an awful lot of bloodstains there. Fleeing. <laughs> what? Hmm? Be wary of a right. Somewhere a heavy door is opened. Hit 
hidden path ahead. Wow, another real one. Give up, skeleton. You can do it. Hidden path ahead. It goes deeper. And deeper. Oh, this is a respawn stick of Marika, isn't it? Oh, there's a boss down here. A boss hidden behind a hidden path. Try bright spot. Could this be a warrior, but didn't expect light? Hmm. Spirit Caller Snail. That's not actually damaging the snail. I suppose because that is not the Spirit Caller Snail. Try bright spot. Okay, I see a bright spot over here. Oh yes, there's something there. I think it's invisible. Ah! There it is. He's just a little snail. Ah! Pillars are destructible. It's just a little snail. I don't want to kill it. But I have to? I don't actually have to, but, you know, I kind of have to in a way. Oh my god, I just killed it. <laughs> oh, frenzied strikes for the win. Oh, and my alarm's going off because my pie needs to be taken out. Uh, Glintstone Sorcerer Ashes. I love wild strikes. Enemy ahead. Why is it always dog? Let's not go into the hidden pathway this time. Let's see if there's... I don't know, is there a second boss? Usually there's a boss at the end of these things. Trio ahead. This place is just filled with secrets.
Wait, but this message said trio ahead. We've only defeated two. Where's the third? Are you in the box? No. <gasps> A new staff, watchdog staff. It looks really pretty, at least the end of it does. Cause that's a problem I have with the demi-human queen staff is that it's not that pretty. I mean, it's not ugly, but... Pretty much the only thing it has going for it is a little blue gem in the very tip top of it. Other than that, it's just meh. Wait, it's a colossal weapon? Hold on, is that even the right type? No, these are all glintstone staffs. This watchdog staff is a colossal weapon. Is it even... It doesn't even take int. I don't even know if you can use it to cast spells. But even if you could, it takes 34 strength, so I'm not wielding that anytime soon. Large stone staff embedded with glintstone. Wielded by Erdtree Burial Watchdogs who protect catacombs. The watchdogs, battered and broken over their lengthy tenure, rule the catacombs and are even said to command the imps. The unique skill is Sorcery of the Crozier. Channel magic into the glintstone to activate an ancient sorcery producing floating magic projectiles that chase enemies automatically. Okay, I want to see what this thing looks like. Whoa! Oh my god! Like, would I be able to cast spells with this if I had the strength to wield it? I kinda doubt it. It'd be pretty fucking awesome if you could though, that'd be a hell of a class build. A strength? A strength sorcerer? With just a huge ass staff that's just a big chunk of stone? I am dying for a new staff, though. Trap. Thank you. Oh, they're glintstone arrows. Hidden path ahead. Oh yeah, they kind of force you, like almost force you to find at least one hidden path. Because this is just kind of obvious. It would be an odd end to this dungeon if this was it. Be wary of left and then be wary of right. Be wary of blocking. Treasure chest. Rhea Lucaria Soldier Ashes. Let's head up to the minor Erd tree. Oh, wow. They die in one hit.
just one of those towers that has a memory stone. Oh, and there's a side of grace. Oh, this one actually doesn't need a riddle solve to go inside of it. That's unusual. Converted tower. Didn't expect up. Head required a head and then gesturing required a head. Okay, I'm looking at the gesture they're doing. I'm trying to see if I have it. Do it again. Put their hands to their head. And then they gesture outwards. Do I have that? Let's see if they're doing it. Erudition guide thee. Maybe that's the name of it, erudition? I do have erudition. But it also said head required a, a head. And they had on one of those um, Rhea Lucaria. Oh, oh my God. <gasps> I guess you don't need the helmet or headpiece. That is so cool. Oh, I got to upvote that. Yeah, you really don't need the head unless that does something special, like extra special. I mean, I do have it, like, well, I guess why not just put it on? Did my head start glowing when I did that? It did! Does that have something to do with being in there, or does that just always happen? Like, I don't know, rally and cry. Does it do anything? No, it doesn't line up. Erudition. <laughs> yeah! That's so cool! That's so particular! This headpiece with this specific gesture causes the head to light up. That is so cool. What a tiny and neat detail. Is that really the only message here? Oh, there's another one. Didn't expect up. That's not the most helpful, unfortunately. I'm going to put down another one. I mean, actually, no, why put down another one? This one's perfect. Head required a head, and then gesturing required a head. It's perfect. Secret, secret, secrets. Oh, why are there bloodstains? Ah, uh, probably just people falling off. Try a horseback battle? Wait. No, there's bloodstains in here. No fear ahead. Uh, if only I had a sorcery. Show me this bloodstain. How did you die? Did you all really just fall off? What the hell? Why is everybody jumping off? <laughs> it's just a memory stone. People die here on purpose just to scare everyone?
Oh no, they were trying to get to the wall. Try down. Oh yeah, there's an item down there. Do you even need to... You don't even need to go from there. You can just go from down here. Magic grease? We turn around, we should be able to get to the Erd tree. What if there's going to be another guard here? Just like, yeah, I see it already. ranged battle. Sounds good. Cerulean Crystal Tear. Ruptured Crystal Tear. A couple things I could add to my flask of wondrous physic. Ill-omened creature ahead. The Erd Tree? I know that there's an area inside down below here that I can get to from the folly on the lake. I remember it was like a poison area. That might be what I have to do to get in there, but let's look around here, see if there's something that goes into the mountain, maybe? Yeah, so down here is one of those entrances to that swampy poison area. There's no way up anywhere along here. So it's got to be from down below, probably. That or a teleporter or something like that from who knows where. Well, I think that's a pretty good place to end the episode. I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're going to go underneath this area and see if we can find a way up. <laughs>